people up for the lately is short tonight. I seen that in the paper, all right, Jack. What are you? Yeah. The likes of you and me won't be there. Off and here. do you know why, Jack? Uh, because we weren't invited? Yeah, I know we weren't invited, Jack. But why weren't we invited? That's the question. I'll tell you why, Jack. Because the only people that gear wants on that late late show are clever dicks, Dr. Book writers and Philip Stairs and such like. Would you ever see the old ignorant poor old slob in the late late? No way. Cause gear have no time for the really simple people. I have, my dear. Surely I often have politicians on the show. <laughs> and a fat lot of bullets on any of them. We'll never forget tonight that he invited on all the politicians. And then he brung in the fella Brown from that magazine, Magoo. What about it, anyway? A couple of weeks later, there was a change of government. Imagine Gear was able to have one cloud put out and another cloud brought in on the strength of one late late show. Yeah, no, no. That's too much power for any one man, Chair. Too much power, man. A change of government. Uh, well, in that case, Garrett can't be very fond of Gear Bond. <laughs> Garrett would have Gear's guts for Gathers. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, Charlie Hockey thinks very highly of Gear Bond. The tumor like that, look, Chair. Yeah. When it is Gear is on top. <laughs> Did you know that Charlie Hockey have gone into the film production business? I saw. So. He knows now what makes Gregory Peck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, coming back to Gaetje, yeah. that man will have the head of the country destroyed. Will you ever forget that American bald here on? And she tried to put us all on a diet of vegetables. Don't you remember? She gave Gay a pineapple. <laughs> I wonder what she expected him to do with it. <laughs> well, isn't she done a lot of good for vegetables now? Because uh, I seen on a paper the other day where Charlie Hockey offered Dick Burke a carrot. Uh, and then Dick went mad on Brussels sprouts. Uh, uh, but no, no. That crowd up in RTE, yeah. they're all left-wingers, you know. There's a clique of them, dear. There's a law unto themselves, boy. And listen to me, morals? None. Morals? None, None. whatever, boy. All no, the no, no. filth they show on That's the television. That's true, filth and dot, like Dallas and, dis and dysentery. People hopping in the open day all night. This face, boy. Filthy, chair. Filthy. But, uh, I like it. No, I don't know. Uh, you see, chair? Just is all right when it comes from America. But tis when RTE try to do it themselves, they should be ashamed of themselves, sir. And Gear Born is the worst of the lot. Gear is totally uninhabited about the kind of stuff he put out on the lately in Do you remember that program he did on artificial, uh, artificial... Uh, artificial insinuation? <laughs> well, that was a disgrace, sir. As decent, clean living men, we are well off out of that lately in We're well out of it, boy. Well out of it. The lately in short, sir, have become a platform for queer hawks, bear pots, and, and, and oddballs. When you think of it, sure, isn't it a wonder he didn't invite us? I to see him. We're <laughs> well out of it, We're yeah. well out of it, boy. And I'd love to let Kia know how we feel. And since he's so mad, on people sending their messages in song? We'd sing a song for him, too. Give us a sample, dear, what we might do, Jen. Uh, for 20 long years, we've been watching Gear Burn every Saturday night on the box. And now, since he's failed to do us a good turn, we can tell him he's in for some shocks. <laughs> yes, we think that Yebo is a proper Yebo, and that information's for free. So from now on, we see, we'll watch only match of the day <laughs> on the banks 